Yo, all right. Um, I it's it's been like a month. I haven't made this video, obviously, but uh, Jupiter has gone into to Capricorn on December third, and for this next year, it's really gratifying to be looking forward to this next year and and what I feel it's going to be setting up for the next couple years. I've been looking forward to this for probably about it's probably been about a half decade now. Uh, because it's a big deal with Jupiter and Saturn being in the same energy, being in Capricorn, especially with Saturn being in Capricorn, like we've experienced for the last two years and we're experiencing for most of 2020. And with Saturn then going into Aquarius for two and a half years after that, that's about a, a five year time period of incredible formation incredible being able to advance to where we are right now there's two different phases to this the first phase is advancing in terms of practical okay the world is kind of for this next year getting to a place of what are we going to tolerate what works and what doesn't work because and it's interesting seeing from the the broad perspective of humanity of of where we've been for all of our existence and um and the different sicknesses that we've we've dealt with as per racism sexism um patriarchy in general the, the power structure that's a huge a huge theme for this next year because this power structure that has predominated for the past several hundred years of predominant, I mean, not predominantly, exclusively, that's how it works, um, white male patriarchy, um, seen with slavery, seen with col uh, coloni colonialism, uh, colonization, uh, which has to do with colonies also. Um, this this sickness that we've seen beginning to get purged over the last couple of years when for example jupiter went into scorpio and 20 what year was that 2016 something like that roughly 2016 and and starting even before then with jupiter and Libra. and of course it, you can trace the chain of events of ideas of thoughts of movements of awareness on individual levels and of course on, on collective global levels um back to time well I, I wish it was time immemorial unfortunately the progress has been more like the past half century um much of the progress anyways but i think that's what this next year is about is and i'm really looking forward to it because even as a white male i mean first of all just because a, a, a an oppressive system supports you or you get benefits from it, that doesn't mean that you should support it. That doesn't mean that it's good, morally, conscience wise. It's it's sick to be a part of something that's sick, and um, I think also because white male individuals have suffered i mean from personal experience myself having suffered from this patriarchal system that extends from the ruling class to the family level the family unit this pecking order um which disenfranchises women people of color uh other white males underneath this hierarchy by the way this for those who are looking more for an individual interpretation for Jupiter and, and Capricorn and Saturn and Capricorn, um, we'll talk about that throughout this video too. But this, I think what's essential is to be able to unite over this next three year period, building off of what we've been building off for the last two years, and especially for this next year and, and for 2021 and 2022 is to be aware of the interplay between the individual and society and to understand our roles and to be aware of the world that we live in so we can better understand how we fit in as individuals as per our functions, how we can better execute our functions in society, how we can better play our role and, and provide value to the world. 
um, and also to avoid being a part of the problem. That's essential because again, we're, we're at such an interesting watershed moment in the history of the world, the history of all of this, this oppression where there's with, with the advent of social media and people uniting and ideas being shared and compassion and empathy being able to be expanded. And of course, I, I don't mean to generalize that everybody's experiencing this. Obviously, we're seeing in the world that there's also a, a strong pushback to that, that, which is doing the exact opposite. Less information, lies, uh, nationalism, us versus them. These ideas, which quite frankly, have been killing the planet and which have reached a watershed moment of the logical conclusion, really, of this patriarchal system, which is with our technology, um, we've reached a point where this system does not function anymore. It does not work because otherwise, through this patriarchal system, which focuses on raping the world of resources, human resources as per other people in, in other parts of the world working ridiculous hours to fund um rather to create products for those within this system to enjoy and that leading to the pollution degradation of the planet um so the physical resources depleting the human resources depleting or rather not so much depleting but getting tired of it and again whether you're in this part of the world or that part of the world we're we're all struggling the people are struggling with this this concentration that that phrase uh, that term of the one percent is very accurate the power is concentrated highly concentrated in the hands of fewer and fewer individuals and again it's just that patriarchal system that has reached its inevitable logical conclusion and of course it's completely irrational but more and more technology for fewer and fewer individuals to gain more power and we're reaching a moment this next this is just a natural phase and again, not to encourage apathy or being passive. That's really important when it comes to astrological transits. It's not to say, oh, this is all going to be taken care of for us. But also, I, I wish to encourage a, a wise, wiser approach than just, we need to, you know, I, getting so stirred up. Of course, I don't, miss, I don't wish to take away from anybody's passion or anything like that. But to find that middle ground of, okay... This is the situation. This is the problem. How do we, how do we fix it? How do we grow through it? How do we take care of it? How do we, how do we live in a world that's sustainable? How do we transform what's sick and, and grow what's healthy and what works for most people on this planet and not just the very wealthy and very powerful few? which have directly benefited, are directly a part of this patriarchal structure. And that's what these next couple of years are all about. And, I, and again, will it take work? Sure, but I think that's what's so beautiful is it's, it's really the matter of the people just being aware that the system exists. And it's pretty hard to not be aware of it when it's causing people to suffer and it's causing you to suffer and you're recognizing, oh... I'm underpaid. I don't, I mean, especially in the States, right? Like I, I, I'm not, I don't have, <laughs> I don't, it's, it's, I laugh because it's so absurd and it's, it has to change. Like it, it, it has to change. It can't continue because people are just too aware of it for it to continue. But I have no health benefits unless I'm paying. I'm, I'm in this, this healthcare system that, is the most expensive in the world and has substandard care compared to many, many other countries. I have to go into insane debt to be able to have a higher education. And if I don't, then my socioeconomic growth opportunities are limited. 
unless I really, I find some kind of alternate path, which is very difficult. And that's not to say it's impossible, and I encourage those who are on that path. But again, we're facing societal things here. We're facing where the world is and, and helping to understand our, how we as individuals can work with this reality to make the situation better, to make our individual wants better. But as opposed to the values espoused by this patriarchal system, to also make the lot of the world better, our shared home, our shared interests, our necessity for us to even survive, let alone to thrive. Um, and I think that going forward a little bit, because we've talked a lot about the, the challenges and we certainly will get back into it and, and some practical things of how to work with this. Um, but I think something that's really great to look forward to is not to say that there there won't be progress until this time, but when Jupiter and Saturn both move into Aquarius in 2021, uh, Saturn will move into the region of space known as Aquarius from March 21st to June 30th. Um, but 2021 is when it will definitively move into that region of space and be influencing us from that that vibratory wavelength. And Jupiter will be there also. And that's, that's when a lot of the wonderful advancements that I'm... I've, I've been foreseeing for the last half decade will manifest for humanity. Um, and being born with, with natal Saturn and Aquarius myself, something that I've always felt connected to, which is that vision of tolerance of people being free to be themselves to advance in society without being beholden to corporate overlords. I've, I've been compassionate for that my entire life. I studied that in, in school too with my Spanish degree, um, focusing on the, going back for hundreds of years, the great pains and deaths caused by exploitation of this white male patriarchal uh, power structure throughout Latin America and South America, where almost virtually every single country over the last, basically since World War II, has undergone uh, a coup supported by the United States. <laughs> so that those that patriarchal system would have it could it could drain the resources both human and res, uh, physical resource material resource of that region for its its consumption for its benefit and um, it's beautiful that I feel that we're right on the precipice of that being realized and even where we are right now with the impeachment, for example, that just occurred in the United States for, for Trump. Um, this power structure is being challenged and thank goodness it's being peacefully challenged. It's being rationally challenged. It's not engaging in the same tactics that this power structure, um, has been engaging in, which is to yell, to not utilize the higher functions of the human mind, getting into the animalistic functions of being human, and the base ones, because there are certainly some animalistic functions that are very fun and very enjoyable for human living, but the base ones of greed and selfishness and just mine, 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 I will kill anybody who tries to take my stuff. that way of life doesn't, it's not going to be able to continue. And I think what's really interesting and really exciting is over the next couple of years, we are going to be charting as a species our way forward. I mean, it's either that or, or death, but I do feel, and I, I see rationally that with these transits, of course we have to make the most of them. Of course we have to do our due diligent work, but 
they are it's a sober reality it's a sober wake-up call as opposed to say over the last couple of years from like 2015 to 2017 or so um and i know the election was in 2018 uh the election that i think as as the perfect example the epitome of this power structure uh, a white male who was deeply sexist deeply racist even if he kept it behind closed doors and certainly i mean his policies <laughs> you can just look at his policies you can tell he does not give a fuck about anyone but really himself so again even we're even going into the classism um a, a billionaire who <laughs> I mean, of course, it's just like, oh, yes, of course, this this is the the epitome of the white male patriarchy, which has existed um, in force for the last really the last 500 years, building steadily in power and influence. We look at the British Empire in the 1800s. Um, and was there progress in certain respects of. For example, liberation of certain white males from other white males, sure. But at the same time, I mean, white females are going to have the right to vote for another 130 years of the making of the American uh, uh, country. Black individuals uh, were enslaved for another, what, uh, 80 years? Was, and even then, there wasn't civil rights until this past half century. And even then, it's still, we still have yet to heal those ills and move forward. So our work is cut out for us, for sure. Now, let's, we focus on the macrocosmic view. Uh, and well, let's touch on that a little bit more, and then we'll get into the microcosmic view of what we can each do as individuals, utilizing this knowledge of this overall system that we are a part of um, and that we suffer through. And, and I would argue that even those who are at the very top suffer through it because that to be so corrupt, to be so pathological, just to be so out of touch with your fellow human beings, that's not good. That's not healthy. That's not, that's not good for you. And I'm not, I'm not saying to pity. You shouldn't pity anybody. Uh, having sympathy and empathy is beautiful, but pity robs. Everybody has the agency to be able to make their lives better. It's not to say that there aren't obstacles. I'm not saying, you know, the whole pull yourself up by the bootstraps thing. It's kind of hard when you don't have fucking boots, you know. Um, but th what, I'm, what I'm trying to illustrate is this entire system does not function for humanity at every single level. Even those who seem to have it all and it's, that's the, oh, go, yes, go get rich. That's the solution. Be a part of the patriarchal power structural, structure. Um, at what cost? At what cost to your soul? At what cost to humanity? If you're getting rich off of the backs of individuals doing backbreaking labor in other countries or in this country, um, paying them a pittance for you to sell some shitty product that's damaging the environment. And he was like, what? Is that, that's your life meaning? That's your purpose? That's how you're going to get your fulfillment in life? You know, that's, that's, that does not work. That does not work. I think that's something that's really beautiful is this Jupiter and Saturn and Capricorn energy that we have this next year, especially because again, then they'll both move forward. Um, but even Saturn will be in Capricorn for the most of this next year and for the latter part of this year, of this next year. So I think 2020 in general, and it's so great that it's the beginning of a new decade. How fascinating, you know, it's so cool that it all winds up that way um, because it's, it's a cleanup year. It's a cleanup year and it's a building year. It's a, a fixing year. And I just saw an excellent interview of, um, of Earl Sweatshirt and his mom who were talking about this. Uh, you should go check it out. I think it just came out actually. It's really fantastic. Um, I think it was, the forum was Mako or something. I'm not familiar with it, I don't remember, but it's really great. And and they were talking about how, um, this system is not sustainable. This system does not work. And it's not about necessarily fixing it. It's about building something new. And it's this isn't to suggest that the very tenets of being human or society are going to be rocked. It's, it's not to say anything like that. Again, that's what's very beautiful is we're looking at a peaceful evolution. It's not so much a revolution with violence and just causing another power structure to emerge. It's like this power structure is ruled by this. You know, it's, it's not like that. It's, it's, and I think it's headed. Everybody has their role to play. Everybody is connected by technology and social media. And, and that's the key really, um, to be able to effectively be a part of this burgeoning 
growth of awareness and activism and just it, it's not even like about being a part of of protests in the street although that can certainly be empowering and good it's just being aware on an individual level and bringing ourselves to a higher vibration and through our example challenging others implicitly and sometimes explicitly to do the same and just to let them know it's not it's not tolerable for you to engage in lies it's not tolerable for you to engage in hatred that does not work for our society and it's essential to grow past that we're at a place where that literally does not work anymore um People who didn't have a voice even just a couple years ago, I mean, even a year ago, are getting a voice more and more. And I think that's something that's really beautiful. And like I was saying, everybody has their role to play. But I think a huge part of this is the internet and is uh, uh, millennials. And I don't mean to be biased as a millennial, uh, being born 91. But I think it's spearheaded in many ways by these individuals who have grown up with technology who understand the power of technology which is only going to be taken even further into the future with the generation z i think is that what they're called i don't know all these titles but but the later generations and whatnot who grew up with technology even more so i mean i remember when the youtube came out in my middle school years you know and, and those who are growing up with it it's going to be a totally different well not totally different but are going to uh, evolve us even further and I think that's part of why the system is capable of, well, first of all, it's, it's imploding, it's destroying itself. But I think also something that's really great is the tools for rational people, the 99% of this world, and especially those in, obviously with the, in the post-industrial world that are interconnected through social media and technology, who have internet and whatnot, um, to be able to give air to information that we need, perspectives that we need to be able to grow our, our mass collective conscience and consciousness further. That's what this is about. This isn't, you know, it comes to mind, uh, 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 Rain Wilson had, uh, uh, I don't know if he still has, has a great series. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it, it, where he did interviews and, he said once that the evolution he sees for the world is a spiritual evolution. And that's really stuck with me because I completely agree. And especially studying astrology um, and being really focused on world events and trying to understand them through the lens of what's going on in our solar system, as well as understand the, the role of the individual and what's going on within the individual. So the microcosmic and macrocosmic view, it's all it all comes back to that. Is that spiritual understanding? Is that greater awareness of who am I? Who are we? What is this planet? And that's the movement forward. It's not through violence. It's not through revolution. It's, it, it is through evolution. As a, my, a wonderful mentor of mine, um, Teresa, said, re revolution is, is based on the word revolve, to go around in circles. Evolution is on evolve, to move forward. And I think that's something that's really exciting for these next couple of years. And it, it's all working within f stages and phases. So for the last two years, we've already been developing discipline, um, being focused, being in Saturn and Capricorn, being, okay, this is how I'm going to get my life together. This is my purpose. Um, and of course, again, it's not a passive thing. If you haven't been engaging in that, I really highly encourage you to do that for this next year. Um, it's not to say that, we should never freak out about astrological transits like uh, like a deadline, but we need to make the most of the opportunity because opportunities can pass us by. And if we engage in, in shadow and negative behavior, we go, if we are on a downward spiral, it's going to get worse as time goes on. And if we continue to go on an upward spiral, even if we go very slowly, it's going to get better as time goes on. And during this time, for the last two years, and especially this year, this next year, because this is the first time in 60 years about that Jupiter and Saturn have both been in Capricorn. It's incredible. Um, the ability to build on a, on a personal level and with social awareness of what's going on in our world is greater than ever. And again, it's a cleanup. It's it's a changing of, of the system. And, and this is a gradual thing. 
it's not just gonna magically happen overnight it's it's a it's an eternal life is an eternal march even when we pass on from the parade of life it's still moving forward so it's good to keep that perspective in mind that's all what these saturn energies are all about is looking at the marathon and the long term and not focusing so much on the short term some people with this jupiter especially in that power structure with this, this these different transits of jupiter and saturn and capricorn will try and push for this this next year of 2020 like no i have the right i have the voice i'm the white male in power and i think what's really great is those people are going to crash and fucking burn it is going to be uh, catastrophic for them because they'll finally have pushed it just too far where the rest of the world says that enough enough and I think that's the role of the rest of the world, of, of us, the 99% of, of individuals on this planet, is to speak up when it's time to speak up. And this goes on, you know, small levels to big levels. It, it can be such a an essential evolution to just live your life, being aware of what's going on in the world. And seeking to slowly but surely every single day add more positivity to it. That's that's what this is all about. I mean, it, it, with any transit, but especially with the job that we have in front of us is humanity, is to change negativity to positivity, and not in the way that some people in the New Age community do. Excuse me. And it's I, there's a really good term that I just heard about it actually called toxic positivity, which is to say everything's great. Everything no that's not the point and and it's good it's good to look at the positive of course for sure it's essential but you have to face the negative to be able to face the positive that's that's been it's funny because with astrology that's been one of the both of those have been the greatest gifts it's given me which is sure the positive that's amazing you have this gift you have that and we all have this you know it's not just oh i'm so great I, it's like oh will you got mars and this and venus here and jupiter that, that's amazing and and you were born to do like, this is really affirming because you've always felt you wanted to do music or psychology um and and not even that you wanted to do it that you did it but this is it makes sense that you would do this because of this and that whatever and do more of that great positivity for sure but the negativity too of hey ooh, you have that tendency um, and you're doing that thing again, you need to stop, you know, you need to stop cutting off your friends, you know, there's all sorts of stuff I can go into for my personal challenges that I've been like, oh, <laughs> ah, and I'm still to this day, it's never like, oh, I've mastered it, it's, it's, it's not an arrogance thing, it's, again, it's the march of life, it keeps going on, I'm just trying to be in, in tune with it, and trying to make the best of it, and to keep evolving, and to play my part in the overall world of, of its evolution, my humble part, and that's the thing too, is just to do your part, and know that that's enough, because, with each cog in the wheel, the overall machine functions. And no cog is more important than the other. It doesn't matter if this one's bigger or shinier or whatever. If that cog is connected to this this cog right here that might not be quite as, as ostentatious and in your face, but this cog isn't there, machine doesn't function. Every piece has to be there, and that's humanity. We're all essential. <laughs> Even those part of those those who are the power of the part of the power structure. They're teaching the rest of the world, this is your job. This is what you need to change, um, you along with everybody else who's suffering with this. It's a good example of how not to be. And sometimes that can be powerful. It's it's definitely, it would be great if everybody was on that, that positive vibration and not dwelling in the negative and the sick, but it is what it is. And we can't control other people. What's most important, we focus on our own stuff. So let's, let's go into the microcosmic view here. Um, I feel like I've... Forgetting something though that we were just talking about. Uh, let's let's go to microcosmic. Maybe we'll come back up if, it, if it's supposed to. The biggest thing with this this next year is already. Okay, let me explain something real quick. The astrological transits we all experience them at the same time. Here we are on on the Earth. You know, um, let's say it's right here or something. <laughs> it's I, I could calculate it, but it's going to take too much time. Um, we're all experiencing on the ecliptic, on the horizontal plane of the solar system, we're all experiencing the different astronomical bodies in relation to the earth coming from a certain angle. And we utilize our understanding of the, the, the ecliptic. It's not about the constellations. I have a video. Do I have a video talking about that? Yeah, the equal house system. Why I find the equal house system to be most accurate. Um, it, it touches on this. And uh, actually, it goes into it. Um, I'm losing track. What was I saying? <laughs> Right. 
So we all experience the transits. We're all experiencing Saturn and Capricorn. We have been for the last two years. But for each individual, it impacts us differently. Overall, it's like 50-50 in a way. We're all experiencing the same transit. We're all experiencing Saturn and Capricorn, like I was saying before, staying focused, being driven, setting goals, reaching those goals, making sure that our lives function, making sure shit comes together. Um, and, and, and being focused on society and making sure it functions too. Speaking up as a concerned citizen when as need be and not being ignorant making sure that we're being open and seeking to understand so we can play our part in society we all have a part to play in society even even when the patriarchal system says no your voice doesn't count no you can't speak out no you're not this you're not that you're not legal you're not uh male you're not white whatever it doesn't matter we all have a voice that's what's beautiful about social media is is it's about it's like dr king said it's about the content and the character it's about the information you know it's, it's like I would kind of add to that. It's the quality of the content. If you're if you're coming from a real place, a true place, um, what, with whatever it is that you're speaking about or or doing or contributing of value, whether it's talking about and and airing out against this patriarchal system or or something different, something about you know whatever it is, um, as long as it's coming from a real place, then that's of value. And it will reach people. It'll spread through social media. Um, and it can have an incredible impact that even just a couple years ago, it would be impossible to, to have. So anyways, so these transits, we're all experiencing the same ones, but we're experiencing them slightly differently because how we look at transits in astrology is we take the natal chart and a natal chart is your birth chart. It's the solar system at the day and time of your birth. And uh, you can find it for free online. I'll include a, a link in the about section of this video where I saw my first natal chart, for my natal chart for the first time about eight years ago. And it's incredibly fascinating. It's like the bread and butter of astrology, studying your natal chart and studying other people's natal charts. Their, their psychological tendencies. It doesn't define you. It doesn't restrict you or anything. Just it helps you to understand. Okay, for example, I'm a Gemini with Mercury Gemini. I like to communicate. I like to talk. That's why this video is over 30 minutes long at this point. I like ideas. I like being... That's part of my role in society. I think that's a big thing about this next year too. With this Jupiter and Saturn and Capricorn is learning what our job is. Because those energies are all about jobs. And... That's something that's really interesting is, okay, two different ideas. We'll get to that in a second about the jobs thing and the roles to play. But something that's great is um, Saturn has been in Capricorn for the last two years. Now Jupiter has just joined the region of space on the ecliptic known as Capricorn. And what this means is basically for the last two years, we've all been experiencing a, a focus, a pressure to master something, to get better at something. And... For me, it's been in my sixth house, so it's been focusing on health, it's been focusing on wellness, on skills, etc. Everyone's going to experience it a little bit differently as per the houses, but overall, that's how it's functioned as per the the general, the, the part that we all share, that influence, that part of the story, which is Saturn and Capricorn. Let's get disciplined, let's get focused. Now, Jupiter is joining that. So we've already done, all of us around the world, um, and maybe, you know, some people have ran with it and some people have kind of fought it. But we've already done a lot of work to be able to be disciplined and to make our lives more practical, to make our efforts more practical, our goals, to, to clarify our goals and to start reaching them. And they are long term, so it's, it's good to be patient with these things. And that's something that's really cool is this next year is with Jupiter joining in Capricorn for all of us. We are all going to be experiencing some tremendous rewards and opportunities for what we've been working on and accomplishing over the last two years. And that's, I think that's one of the best things about what this next year has to offer is you've been working at it. You've been working at it. You've been working at it. Maybe your entire life, especially over the last two years though. And now the door opens for you and you're prepared. You know, it's great if the door opens, but if you're not prepared, you can't make the most of the opportunity and you might as well just, you might get kicked out of that door, you know, but whatever the door that you're seeking to open for yourself this next year, and, and there are many doors throughout life, right? Um, this focuses a little bit more on the professional realm, whereas as opposed to say, if it was in Libra, that'd be more focused on like uh, romantic relationships. But even in that case, again, it's all interconnecting. So 
perhaps goals that you have for your relationships or, or whatnot, or health or this or that, whatnot. But this is a big professional focus. And again, like I was saying before, what is my role in society? What is my job? Who am I? What do I have of value? And, and real value, not just this is what I'm charging, so this is what it's worth. No, like you're providing substance, not just flash, not just like a nice product, you know, like not just like a, a what is that called? The fashion that you, uh, people buy for cheap wear like once or, si or, or twice and then it all starts like falling apart and it's still terrible for the environment, awful for the environment. Um, just watched a really good special on that. I wish I could remember the dude's name. Uh, fuck, he's, he's a comedian. I don't know, look at Fast Fashion. Uh, on, I think it was on Netflix. Um, I believe he's Pakistani. I, I wish I could remember his name. Um, in any case, it's, that's what this next year is about, is moving away from that and moving towards what do we need how do we satisfy that need on an individual level and on a, a, a collective level? And like I was saying, we've already talked about the collective stuff, the, the overall narrative, the overall situation that we're, we're handling and we're fixing and not fixing in the sense of trying to prop up a power structure, but moving beyond that to get to a place, especially that we're going to expand upon in 2021, uh, 2022 and the first half of 2023 and, and beyond that, of course, but those are going to be major years of expansion uh, even further as per the rule of the people as per people being interconnected and more aware of each other and more empathetic and to have socioeconomic systems that support the people and aren't just draining the people for their energy and their resources for the benefit of a very few wealthy individuals um but this next year is more the, okay, what do I need to work hard on? <laughs> Sorry, I have a very silly sense of humor. Um, what do we need to be diligent with <laughs> as per our work? <laughs> and um, and what do I need to, to accomplish? What skills do I need to, to do to, to perfect, to move to that next level? Perfect is a trap. Let's not think about it like that. Let's think about it as how do I... How can I achieve further excellence and provide even further value to the world? That's what this next year is all about. And I mean, that, to be fair, that should be every year. But this next year is, that's the key. So on a microcosmic view, to be able to contribute everything that you can to this world and to get fulfillment and meaning from your life in ways that are impossible by only focusing on one's own lot in life. Because as human beings, we naturally want we have to feel part of a community now certain individuals are antisocial and they have serious psychological issues but that's a very very small percentage of individuals Nine again 99 percent of individuals are not that way we're all in this together we're very we're very linked to our communities and i think that's something that's important to keep in mind over the next couple of years uh with this next year for sure but 2021 onwards but to challenge ourselves even with this next year is to broaden our idea of community to see all of humanity as our family and to understand that we truly are interconnected. Um, it's not like, oh, it would be nice if we could all get along. No, we have to get along. Or, and it's okay if we disagree. It's good to disagree. But we have to seek to understand each other. And not just write somebody off as us versus them. That's been a, a big focus. It's been a, a big theme, especially from 2015 to 2017 with Saturn uh, transiting in Sagittarius. Where it was, uh, I'm totally right. They're totally wrong. Hmm. That doesn't work. Now, this isn't to say that we should be ignoring facts, far from it. I'm not saying that at all. We need to face, on, face the facts. But I think it's important to get to a place as an individual for all of us, especially during this time, this time period. But to always have this, this approach. To be willing to have a conversation with somebody How do I say this? Um, to not, no, no, this is better. To not write people off. At a certain point, if somebody's just being narrow-minded and not trying to listen at all, and even when you listen to them, okay, obviously, that's a, a dead end. It's time to try elsewhere. 
for human empathy and understanding and mutual growth of consciousness and uh, understanding one another. But even in that case, it's important to not engage in the us versus them mindset because that's a part of the problem and that's that's used by the patriarchal power structure to sow division between peoples. And again, we can't afford that anymore or this world will perish through pollution, through insane policy changes which only benefit the 1%. People have had enough of that. It's it's time to move forward. And it's again, it's not about shame or blame or anything like that. It's just it's just cause and effect. That's something that's really great about these energies, is it's just practical. So I think on the individual level, be as practical as possible. Be real. This is what I want out of my life. This is what I need. This is how I'm giving back to society. This is how I'm providing value. I'm not just focused on superficial things like status or validation or recognition or anything like that. I am a part of the solution to make this planet survive and to thrive into the future for not just my generation, but future generations, children's children's children. I mean, 500 years, however long down the line. And I know that seems so grandiose, but it's really simple. Just every single day, make choices that don't hurt people and won't hurt people down the line and make choices that empower you to do what you enjoy as per your profession. And if you're not doing it, then do what you have to do to be able to do it as per getting the skills and experiences, what have you. And just build. That's what this next year is all about. If I had to summarize, build, ignore the rotting carcass. of Not so much ignore, but don't let it deter you. Don't let it be apathetic or anything like that. Again, shout out to that wonderful interview of uh, Earl Sweatshirt and his mom. Check it out. It's really fantastic. Um, I'll link that in the about section as well. Because um, apathy is used by the power structure to, to continue to exploit the people. And have challenge yourself to have this broader awareness of, of the human family. Don't judge other people. It's okay to be analytical. It's okay to disagree. That's fine. That's good. That's good. Have different perspectives. Be willing to speak up if it seems like there can be an actual rational discourse and to discuss these different points of view without trying to... That's the beautiful thing, you know, it's about the truth. The truth doesn't need defending, really. I mean, obviously, it's important to stand up for it, but just talking facts. <laughs> you don't have to get super emotionally invested. You don't have to get upset. It's okay if you do get upset. It, it can be upsetting when somebody is believing lies or espousing truths that are destroying the planet or destroying other people. Um, but focus on the, the common sense facts. And when the conversation has outlived its purpose, go back to doing your good work. And with us all doing this, subconsciously, that's already going to be happening. Consciously, we can empower ourselves to do this even more so. So I, I know this is so typical. I never say this, but you know, the whole like, comment, subscribe shit. <laughs> but not even necessarily sending this video. If you feel like it, fucking great. Awesome, do it. But spreading the awareness of other people to other people that just being aware of what's going on in the world and that it's changing and that by consciously embracing it by leaning into it i've learned that by getting so many tattoos if you fight the process of life especially when things are difficult or painful it gets so exponentially worse lean into it it's not to say that like oh i love it you know this is fantastic no not necessarily but you know i have this kind of this kind of uh i have this i guess uh ritual coping ritual when i'm getting a tattoo and when the needle hits the skin, it feels like fire. And <laughs> it's almost like a DJ. It's kind of funny. Is it's like, and I've tried several different things, and this is what routinely works. You know, and breathing, staying calm. You know, that's a huge part for life in general, and especially this next year of great change too. But 
when it hits my skin, it's I, I just say like, like basically the phrase "blessed by fire," and and it's like blessed, but 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 you get into kind of like a DJ, but 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 blessed by fire, you know, and it helps, it helps, um, and I think that's what this next year is about because with these energies, it can be quite easy, especially with Jupiter and Capricorn, to get wrapped up in the difficulty of holy fuck, I have to climb that mountain. The world has to climb that mountain. Oh my God, how are we going to do? But it's okay. It's okay. There have been more difficult mountains climbed. And, and even if you can't really fairly compare times and places and contexts accurately, because um, each each one is its an, in its own bubble in a sense. But again, take take heart, take heed to uh, from history and how much has been achieved already. And especially from all of human history yet uh, and again i'm not trying to give us commendations that we don't necessarily deserve or to get us to be smug or anything we have a lot of work to do but look at how much has already been accomplished in even just the last couple of decades the last half century especially even considering the horrid conditions of humanity in, in millennia past even in the last couple hundred years and let's take it further we can take it further. We will take it further. Inevitably, this is happening subconsciously. This video is more to just help people consciously realize it and understand that, cool, this is what's going on for me in my personal life and for all of us. We're all sharing this experience together. Um, in my personal life, what I can actually control, I'm going to do my best to work hard doing something of value to provide goodness to this planet. Uh, I'm going to strive to be in line with practical reality I'm going to strive to have a bigger picture for the long term of this planet and my cause and effect here. I'm going to do little things each day. I'm going to recycle that bottle instead of throwing it away. I'm going to seek to be part of the solution instead of the problem. And in doing so, I'm not only taking away negativity I could have put into this world, I'm changing some of that negativity into positivity. And if everybody's doing that, it just gets better. And if we consciously embrace this, if we know that these different cycles are going on, we don't give into the apathy and we don't give into the depression that some will be feeling for 2020. There's so much to do. I just can't even get started. You've got to start and you got to do. And, and by the end of the year, we'll go, holy fuck. How did we do all that? It's incredible. And then we'll be building on that with it all moving into Aquarius, Jupiter and Saturn. Um, and then 2021 is going to be phenomenal. And then that'll build 2022 to be phenomenal. And then all of a sudden we have this decade of fantastic growth and prosperity building off into the future. And, and by the end of the century, it's, it's all exponentially, infinitely promising. But it takes work. As part of being human, having a body, living in this kind of time and space, having to see seeds, to plant seeds and to have them grow both literally and figuratively, is it takes time and it takes patience and it takes perseverance. But just knowing that it's all moving forward, that as shitty as things can seem, this is actually, that's good. It's amazing that this is happening, that it's, it's, it's so present on the world stage and everybody's going, oh my God, this is the fucking world I live in. This is especially those who live in the States, this is my society because it's always been like this. It's always been a white male patriarchal structure that has victimized everybody. It's just now it's being thrown in our faces because it's it's reaching its end. It's dying its, its last, we're dying in its last days peacefully. It's not going peacefully, but the rest of the world is, you know, it's not even trying to kill it. It's just saying, okay, that will not work. You cannot feed off of me like a vampire. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. So I hope you have a wonderful 2020. Again, keywords, work hard on something that you find meaningful that provides value to this planet. Think for the long term. Challenge yourself to see the bigger picture as per your your actions. Strive to be aware of, of humanity and uniting yourself with the human family and know that us versus them does not function anymore. It never did, really. 
but it's getting to a place where it's it's reached a critical boiling point where we can't treat other human beings like they're not human beings just because they're not right in front of us. Horrible things have happened when that's occurred in history. And we need to move forward. Because if we are truly going to have a, a shining beacon of goodness as a planet in this universe and have a great time doing it, We have to be tapping into the potential of all of us. And it's not about tapping in. It's a very patriarchal understanding. It's, it's We have to be fostering, encouraging, growing from the ground up, seeing those seeds be planted and grow. Because how tragic is it to have all of these people that could be accomplishing incredible things and be providing such incredible value and be having such fulfilling lives and be good for themselves, their communities, their, their families, their communities, the world. But because they have a lack of healthcare, a lack of educational opportunities, they languish instead and they don't offer what they could offer. And everybody suffers. It's a lose-lose. Fuck that. <laughs> we need to go for the win-win. And it, it does require us challenging ourselves to get up and do work and strive to understand those that we have tried not to understand the last couple of years and to at the very least even if we disagree to the the nth degree to be respectful and peaceful so whatever it is that you're seeking to accomplish for this next year again set ambitious goals don't settle and go for it it's a really exciting time on a individual level on a, a big level and I just, I encourage you to keep on keeping on. Live and give it your all. Because we're only, we only get one shot at this anyways. In these lifetimes. Yeah. Yeah, and again, be a part of the solution, not the, not the problem. And stay calm. Stay calm. It's not It's not all going to get figured out if we get super angry. Not to say that anger is bad. Anger can be really helpful. Really good motivator for us. Um, really good to be able to speak up and let other people know. You've trespassed against my boundaries. You know, stuff like that. But it's important to not shut down. It's important to work. Move forward. Peace. As always, I'm doing readings. Um, the information for that is in the about section. I hope you have a wonderful 2020 and you manifest at least the seeds. No, I think manifest so much goodness for 2020. So it coming to you in 2020, but also the seeds for goodness throughout the rest of your life and throughout the generations to come.